Thank you. See something, Scott? It's nothing. Okay. All right. Let's do this before we get caught. Tell me there's something else in here besides just this banner. There is. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. The truth. Wow. Can't imagine anything more boring than the truth on a banner. We're getting the message out, Jason, and that's what matters. What matters is we get this done before the wind picks up and our message gets blown into the Pacific. Yeah, let's fly this baby and get out of here so we can do some celebration drinking. Not really all that committed to the cause, are you, Jason? I'd commit to you for at least two weeks, if you give me a shot, darling. Seriously? You're like my dad's age. Maybe we should stop the flirting and concentrate on this. Are you or are you not dating Dr. Hottie? Dr. Hottie! Dr. Hottie? <laughs> Dr. Hottie's in my relationship has nothing to do with... Ah, busted. Ah. Damn wind, getting crap in my eyes. You picked a really good spot. People are gonna see our message for miles. Maybe even get some real media attention. Oh, don't act so surprised. You know I do whatever I can for the cause, Barbie. Okay, maybe I got you a little wrong. I'm sorry. About what? It's just, if you hadn't met me, then you'd still have your job. Do you really want to bring that up now? But they never would have come after you that hard if it hadn't been for your job. You had nothing to do with it, Carla. We still love charging into burning buildings and saving lives, and... Well, now you're hanging a banner. I live to hang a banner. All right, let's go, let's do this! Yep.
You okay? You okay? Uh, Jason, you can let go now. Jason? Yeah. Okay, what the hell was that? A fire twister. So a what? A tornado made a fire. I've seen one once before. They're usually a natural phenomenon. Don't normal tornadoes just usually get bored and then disappear into the sky or something? This one seemed to keep on burning. I know. Thing could hurt a lot of people. Are you okay? Yeah, just uh, a little shaken up. Come on, guys, let's get out there and hope to God that thing is gone. Guys, why are you going out there? It's not so bad in here. Get out here, Jason. Is it gone? It should be by now. Should be. Oh, God. We lost him. This isn't really acceptable, is it? Okay. What's our next move? All right, fan out. You take the field, I'll take the road. Who are they? And if they're trying to kill us for hanging a banner, I think they're kind of over you. No. They've got to be connected with the explosion. Okay, you know what? I think I'm being pretty freaking cool considering being chased by the wrath of God. And now we've got sexy assassins gunning us down? What the hell, man? This was not part of the orientation package. Okay. You're right, this isn't normal. But here's a newsflash, Jason. These people do not play fair, and they're gonna do some pretty horrible things to try and make us go away. Well, maybe we should take the hint and go away. We're stuck in this, Jason. Together, okay? Yeah. If we cannot just stick our heads in the sand. Yeah, we can. Ostriches do it. Oh, my God. Don't give me that look. Yeah. Okay, eagles might soar, but weasels don't get sucked into jet engines. <gasps> okay, you know what, Jason? If I have to kick your ass, it ain't gonna be pretty. I disagree. I think kicking Jason's ass would be a work of art. Maybe. All right, Scott, what's the plan here? We're not safe here. We gotta keep moving. He's faking it. He makes one call to his buddies and we're toast. Mm. Okay, I'm not faking it, okay? I work here. I have a business card in my pocket. Okay, I'll get it. Hey, hey relax. I'm just a card. See? <sighs> Why are you trying to kill us? And who are those people? Okay, I'm not trying to kill anybody, and I don't know who those people are, okay? I came down here because I heard an explosion and lots of gunfire. Who are you? Those two are gonna be back soon. Do you know way out of here? Yeah, there's an old utility road just over there that leads down to the lower parking lot. It's our best shot. Okay, let's go. Why? Jesus. 
watching. Is it done? The tank blew, but whatever the hell was in it went up like Hiroshima, turned into a pillar of fire, and now it's rampaging toward the city. What was in the tank? That's need to know only. I would think the CIA hammered that into you. It doesn't matter. This is perfect. The more destruction, the better. One minor snag. The tree hugger saw us and can make an ID. That's a serious problem, V. Can you take care of them? Don't tell me how to do my job. Call Huey and Louie. There wasn't oil in that tank, was it? No, far from it. What exactly do you do? I'm chief engineer at Cinco. We're developing a new revolutionary type of fuel. It's gonna change the world, but... I mean, just who the hell are you guys anyway? Why would you destroy something that I spent five years of my life trying to create? We didn't blow up the tank. It was a bomb. A very sophisticated bomb when we got there. So what were you doing there? Looking for a place to picnic? We were told that it was a traditional storage tank for oil. That's what I heard. We were gonna hang an anti-oil banner on it. That's it. We were peacefully protesting. You're protesting us? We're on the verge of putting big oil out of business. What? My fuel is the first smart fuel. It's called MT-11. It's a hydrogen-based synthetic that, that burns 10 times longer than traditional fuel, and its only emission is water. It's designed to respond to the minute-to-minute -minute needs of an engine and adjust its combustive capacity to maximize efficiency. That's good, right? It's a game-changer. But that's when it's applied to an engine. I mean, if that thing is made up of MT-11, it's gonna burn for a very long time. How long? Caught up in a twister like that, it, it could burn indefinitely. And it will get bigger. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna hunt that thing down and kill it. Can you help us? Help you? I'm the only one that can stop it. Look where it's going. Hang on. Cartwheels. <laughs> Morning. Handstands. I can do a handstand. Looks like the Nylander guy is a real American hero. The trail's gone cold. How are we gonna find him? Just look for the big orange thing in the sky. They'll be there. Where did it go? Yeah, where did it go? So can I ask like a dumb question? Why can't we just call one of your old fire guy buddies and let them take care of it? You can't just hope people will solve the problem for us, Jason. You know, if you get me close to it, I think I can figure out a way to extinguish it.
Everyone okay? Yeah. Oh my god. Honey, are you okay? She got oh. She got pulled into the sky. Who's gone? My mommy. Can you find her? We were taking Sarah for a walk. And then the devil monster took her into the sky. Baby, are you hurt anywhere? Okay? You stay here? I'm coming up. Okay. Please, hurry. Hold on. I'm trying. Hold on. Okay. You'll be fine. Just hold on. What's your name? Anna. Okay. Anna, let me get you down from here. Okay. I'm gonna need your help. Okay. Can you move? I, I, I think so, but my baby, is my baby okay? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna hold on. But, no, but. Don't worry, ah. I'm gonna get her. Hold on. No. I got. Ah. Oh. Stop. Sarah! But thank you for saving her. <laughs> oh, you're searching her own sky. I'm going, Fireman. Good job. Twister came right through here. We gotta be nearby. Okay, showtime. No, really, take it. Just make sure you stop it before it hurts anyone else. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you. We'll get it back to you in good shape. Go inside and be safe. Come on, honey. Bye. Yeah. All right, let's go find... Hey, hey, whoa, 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 get in, get in! Seriously, what do they want with us? Maybe they're the ones who planted the bomb and we were messing up their work. Maybe they're trying to pin it on us. Is anyone gonna take a shot on how the hell a tornado follows us like Godzilla? He wasn't trying to find us. He was looking for the heat. The heat? You mean like our engine? Yes, exactly. And like the air conditioning units on the rooftops. I, I think the fuel inside the twister is causing it to search for a hot spot, just like how I designed it to work in an engine. The twister is gonna be drawn to the spikes in the ambient temperature. It's searching out ways to stay alive. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, fantastic. We gotta That's find great. that spot. I gotta make a phone call.
Yeah, take company 17 and 32 and flank it from the east. We're heading north. We should catch up with it by... Hey, Scotty. Can I call you back? Things are going off the rails here. Logan, I'm calling about the Twister. I got some info for you. Okay. You got my attention. Ordinary people have lost everything to this monstrosity. This could happen to any one of us. Oh, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, yes? Uh, this is your home? Yes, it is. Was. We barely got out alive. It, it must have been terrifying. What happened? There was a loud roar. We thought it was an airplane coming down. It sounded like a jet engine or something. And when we looked outside, it was, it was coming down the street. And I will find out who, if anyone, is responsible for unleashing this unholy terror against our city. that the fire twister wreaking havoc across the city was born right here at your plant. Let me start by saying that we at Cinco's Hearts go out to the community that has suffered such devastating losses and want to do everything that we can to aid in the recovery process. Not much is known about what exactly Cinco does here. Since it's been shrouded in secrecy, 
Can you shine a light on what it is exactly that you make and how that helped aid this twister? There's nothing sinister going on here, I can assure you. You'll know the full Senko story when we release our product line next year. With all due respect, sir, there's a 25-story fire tornado destroying Los Angeles. Corporate secrecy just isn't going to cut it. I came from traditional oil, and I believe deeply in that mission. But when the people of Sinco showed me what they had cooking here and invited me to run their company, I jumped at the chance to be part of the future. What we have is a game changer, and it'll be great for America's energy independence. So what's at stake here is no less than our national security. But rest assured, we will cooperate with the authorities in every way possible. You still haven't delivered any information. These people about... legally broke into our facility this morning, and we believe we're responsible for blowing one of our storage tanks. This is Scott Nylander. He's a former LA firefighter who suffered a mental breakdown on the job and developed paranoid fantasies that the oil industry was out to get him. After being placed on indefinite medical leave, his emotional issues drove him right into the arms of this group a radicalized eco terrorist organization formed by Dr. Carla Lemlin. She's a fringe climate scientist. They thought they could use his former status as a respected Los Angeles firefighter to gain legitimacy for their terrorist activities. But the true nature of their evil became frighteningly clear today. Scott and Carla and their followers are responsible for the explosion and the catastrophic fire twister now plaguing our city. These people are highly dangerous. If you see them, please don't engage and take cover. We don't want them to take any more. Uh, excuse me, I have to take this. But Mr. Garber, no, you still I'm haven't sorry. I'm sorry, there are no more questions here. Okay, that Mr. is Garber, all, that is all for today, questions. folks. That is all Mr. for today. Garber. Talk to me. We lost them. We lost them. Well, now, that's unacceptable, isn't it? Uh, tell me, how hard can it be to dispatch a bunch of tree-hugging pacifists? You find them, you understand. And you're supposed to be the best, so why don't you show me you can at least be competent? I can always show you how competent I am in person. Look, you just make sure that Scott and his merry band of idiots are gone and in a way that's as far removed from us as possible. You understand? This cannot get back to us. Who is this guy? I'll send you his info. You can decide for yourselves. Fine. Send it. That's the thing about phones. He knows where it came from. Multiple engine companies from across the state have been deployed to combat the twister, but the devastation caused in its wake seems just too much for these firefighters. So far, reports... Anybody else? I ditch. Okay. So, what's the situation? How's, how's the containment going? We got a dozen companies surrounding that thing. But we're nowhere near containment. Man that might be able to help, he may know how to stop it. Anthony, the guy lost six men on this thing today. Better be some damn good info. What the hell is it? It's being fueled by a long burning experimental synthetic fuel. Who the hell are you? Anthony's the one that created the fuel that it's burning on. Will it burn itself out on its own? I don't think so. It's gonna get bigger. All right, I need you to level with me, partner. What the hell kind of trouble did you get yourself into? Trouble? Your picture is plastered across every TV in the country as the father of the state. They're calling you and your friends terrorists. I'm being framed. Again? People are screaming for your head. Dozens are dead. And the media is painting you as the mastermind. I had nothing to do with that, Logan. And we're trying to stop it. People are not in the mood to listen. They are in the mood for blood. The police are looking for you, and they will shoot first and ask questions later. You gotta watch your ass, Scott. You better go. Let's go. Everybody in.
Do you know what MT-11 is? Yeah, of course. Well, that fuel, they usually keep in a very high security place in a tank in a bunker underneath the lab. But two days ago, we got an order to transfer all of the fuel to the Hilltop silo. Now, we don't use that silo for the high-tech stuff, okay? It ain't rated for MT-11. Well, did they give any reason for the transfer? No, they said it was because they had too much for the bunker tanks. But that just doesn't make sense. We always just control burn the excess. And the Hilltop tanks got almost no security. No security? That can't be normal protocol. Shred everything. If the man Everything! Okay. All right, everyone. Every piece of paper turns to confetti. Every hard drive gets the hammer. It's chop, chop, chop. It's time to clean house, people. trying to kill us why that's what i'm trying to figure out we just have to tell them that we had nothing to do with it they've taken places at the scene of the explosion and we have a history of trespassing and protesting non-violent protesting okay you know what someone's gonna have the courage to sound like a coward and i have that kind of courage there's professional killers hunting us we're lapd's most wanted and oh yeah that's right tornado okay this this saving the world thing is a little above our pay grade why don't we just turn ourselves in and then we can let the professionals handle this. Anthony is the professional. He's the only professional who can stop this. I'm in. You can leave anytime you want, Jason. Yeah? Hello, Scott. You know who this is. How'd you get my number? You're something of a celebrity, Scott. Celebrities are easy to find. Can you tell me why you're trying to kill us? You seem like a bright enough guy for someone who runs into burning buildings. I'm calling to offer you a deal. I'm listening. You give yourself up to us, and your friends get to walk free. Everybody wins. My friends and I are busting our asses trying to stop this thing from killing more people. Scott, in the spirit of full disclosure, I kill people for a living. This twister is killing everything in his path, including garbage, so I'd watch my back. They give you a reason for why they're trying to kill us? Not a good one. There it is! It's slowing down. What's it doing? It's having lunch. It looks like it's eating the fire. looking for the heat. Maybe we can bait it and then steer it where we want it to go. You think that, that may work? That's a brilliant idea. You okay? Fire came down from the sky. It rained on us. Okay, uh, you're not safe here. 
need to get to safety. You can come with us. Come with us now. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Why don't you all just stand real still? Oh. Oh, look, I'm, I'm here to help. We need your car. No. We need our car. I was a fireman. We needed to help save these people from the twister. There ain't no helping them. They're already damned. <laughs> the good Lord sent the pillar of fire of promise in Revelation down to smite all ye sinners. Oh, preach it, Father. Preach it. We are the chosen ones. And the rest of you, well, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Hallelujah. But that thing is coming our way. It's going to fry us. All of us. God will choose who burns and who doesn't. And I think I know who's going to choose. <laughs> yeah. The key. God didn't create this. People did. That thing is going to burn through here, kill all of us, climb down the mountain, and then destroy the city. And thousands of people will die. That's the idea. Get down there and take cover right now. All right. Jeez, or I'll blow you all to hell myself. Go on, get down there. Go, go. I'll be fine. Kill this thing. Drive it away from all the fuel sources, let it burn itself out? Yeah, okay, but how do you drive this thing? I mean, it kind of goes where it wants. It's heading down towards the city. How do you evacuate millions of people? We don't. Not in time. Thank you.
still getting warm. Where is it? Get me close to it, Scott. I think I got another idea. What's that? Wait, wait, wait. Guys, I know what your Boy Scouts and Brownies are thinking. This seems like a really noble thing for you to do, to go and help these wounded guys in the street. But in case you haven't noticed, the world's falling apart right now. I can't believe you're saying this, Jason. I can. This little fender bender here is nothing compared to the firestorm that's ripping through our city. Are we that bad if we just keep going? Okay. Check that guy. Yeah. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? Turn around. Do it. Walk. Still the American hero. It's touching, really. Good to finally meet you, Scott. Don't. Inside. Now. No. You're gonna have to do it here. Let's negotiate inside. Look, look. You got me. You can let them go now. That deal expired. So no honor. You people make me sick. We have orders to make this look amateur. Put away your weapons. We're gonna make this a silent kill. Make it messy. Channel your inner marauding looters. You're a psychotic bitch! Easy. This wasn't part of the deal. Ouch! Look. It wasn't supposed to be like this. If you dance with the devil, you're gonna get burned. What? What did you do? The CEO of Cinco paid me to get you guys to put that banner on the tank. And it seemed okay. I didn't realize it was a setup. Mitch? Our CEO hired you? A crooked oil man. Shocker. I am so sorry, you guys. Are we killing people today or what? Yes, we are. Don't you move! Run! Don't you move! Don't you move! You guys get out of here! Put that fire out for me! Run! You say, don't even move! Tell my mom I love her! Don't you move! Put your gun down! Put it down! I got you! Put, you, you put it down right now! Put it down! Jason. People deserve that. Well, things are going even better than we expected. The press is all over Cinco now. This company will be bankrupt within a month. Then uh, ACI can go on in buy all their patents and bury them. Where the hell's my completion bonus? <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I'm not going to be waiting for anything. You update my account now, or I might just forget to format my hard drive before I leave. There we go. Pleasure doing business with you. Fire twister tearing through downtown. That's where you need to be, Jane. We've even got our villain. This Scott Nylander creep is pure gold. Disgrace hero firefighter turned mass murderer. That's what you should be chasing. I don't think that's the whole story, Marcus. I checked out this Scott guy, and this just doesn't add up. It'll add up when you put his face next to this disaster. Look, that's your job. Let everyone else decide if he did it or not. No, Garber has something to do with this. I know it. I think that the real story is back at Cinco and how all of this got started. Jane, every other station is running fire twister footage 24-7, and you're out chasing conspiracy theories? You better come back with a smoking gun, or don't bother coming back at all. Close. Need to turn around, man. Hi. No, I'm with Channel 2 News. I was just here a few hours ago. They're done talking to the press. Oh, it's not about that. I left my bag inside. It has my tape. If I could run in and get it before somebody throws it in the trash. It's not gonna happen, miss. Back it up. Let's go. Back it up. Yeah. We interrupt our continuous fire twister coverage to bring you a special report. I'm here talking with a woman who had direct contact with the leader of the eco-terrorists, Scott Nylander. You need to stop calling them terrorists. They're good people, and that fireman saved my life. So you don't think they're responsible for the destruction? They're trying to stop the tornado. While everyone else is running away from it, they're running towards it. Scott and his friends aren't terrorists. They're heroes. You heard it here first on Channel 2. Scott Nylander and his friends are heroes, not terrorists. And I promise you viewers to get to the bottom of who's behind this reprehensible smear campaign against them. Los Angeles is in a citywide panic. The massive fire twister has torched a path from Santa Clarita Mountains and is now tearing through downtown, toppling skyscrapers like toys. The disaster toll is feared. Anthony, how could Cinco do this? And how could you not know that any of this was going on? And why would the CEO of your own company want to destroy it? When Mitch Garber came to Cinco, he promised to position us as world leaders in green fuel. They believed him. I believe him. Now no one is ever going to see us as anything but those people who created the monster. Maybe he came to Cinco for a different reason. An industrial spy. Maybe they put him there to wipe out a future threat, sabotage Cinco from the inside. Could he even do that? They played hardball. I've been on the receiving end of that before. You? Is that what happened? A few years back, there was that big wildfire in Wyoming. The biggest wildfire in a century. Scott's team got caught. The fire was surging all around them. It was burning its way into the middle. I lost four men. But you saved six. Meeting Carla gave my life purpose again. You're a hero. They blamed Scott for the deaths of those firemen. We won't let them get away with it again. Pull into this parking lot over here. What? Pull into the parking lot! Stop the car! What is he doing? Maybe he finally lost it. Maybe he found it.
The Twister passed by just behind those buildings. You can see the anxiety on the faces of these residents. What will they do if the Fire Twister returns? I'm being told we finally have Governor Aldridge on the line. Governor, thank you for talking to us. What can you tell our viewers? I've declared an official state of emergency. I've also activated the National Guard, and they'll be on site as soon as possible. I urge people to please stay in their homes. What's he doing? He's going to bait it. We've got to stop him. He can't do that. Anthony, what are you doing? This is not the way to bait it. I'm not going to bait it. I'm going to kill it. No, we need to do this together. Someone has to take it out, and it's my responsibility. It's not your fault, Anthony. I think I can take it out with a big enough concussion. What if you can, Anthony? Then I'm screwed. Wait, I need you to help me kill this thing. This, this way doesn't make any sense. Scott, this is the only thing that makes sense today. Turn back! <sighs> Anthony, you can't do this. This is suicide. Tell everyone I'm sorry, okay, Scott? to help people, not hurt them. Come back. He was trying to be a hero. Doing what he thought would work. A hero? He died, and it was for nothing. Maybe not for nothing. Look, his theory almost worked. Did you see the effect it had on the Twister? It temporarily disrupted the Vortex. He was on to something. If it had been bigger and more explosive, it might have worked. Anthony proved something. The Fire Twister is drawn to heat. Yeah, it came toward him like it was some hungry shark. Yeah, and if we had the right gear, we could probably lure that thing. To a, to a bigger bomb. By overpowering the fire with an even bigger explosion. You know, like putting out a candle with a firecracker? But where are we gonna get that kind of explosive power? I got an idea. If you ask for an engine, you got it. But this stuff, this is military grade C4. I had to move heaven and earth to get it. You going Red Adair? Yeah. And we'll lure that twister someplace desolate and blow it apart. Like an oil fire. That's smart. That's a pretty angry beast, though. I don't know if you have enough C4 to blow it. It will when I add a thousand gallons of fuel to the mix. How the hell are you gonna get a thousand gallons of fuel into the middle of a twister? I was thinking of filling the water reserve of your pumper here with gasoline. Holy Jesus. You'll be riding atop a small nuke. With a C4 on board, it ought to do the trick. Yeah, and the explosion will obliterate everything within a hundred yards, including you. It'll be fine. I just need to find enough open space for that kind of explosion. I gotta go. It's heading north. Maybe I can lure it back to Cinco. Ought to be enough open space there, huh? Don't get all heroic on me.
Welcome back, firefighter. Where are you going with that? To my car. No, you're not. It's going to the incinerator. But this is my personal stuff. You can't... Nothing leaves this building. And hey, is anybody else unclear on the concept that nothing leaves this building? It's ready to go. Give it. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> hey, is there a problem down there? Nope. We're okay. <sighs> Going crazy. Mitch hired private security. I have no idea where these psychos come from. I can help you. Let me help you. Mitch gave me the orders to destroy all the evidence. I'm gonna be a patsy. I cannot go to jail. So Mitch is behind all of this. Why? I, I don't know. Help me find out. This is extremely dangerous, and you guys are gonna be riding on top of a bomb, a very big bomb. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill this bitch. Yeah!
Well, what have we here? Oh, maybe a little Trojan horse action. Oh, sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to sign a few forms. What the hell are you talking about? We're they're, melting down they're here. They're for your protection. Uh, you asked for them, the, the new security coats. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are good. All right, good. What are you doing in here? Uh, you know, I wanted to get your perspective, you know, for our viewers. I already gave you my perspective. Yeah, well, I was hoping you could go a little deeper. I mean, after all, you are in charge of this company. This company is responsible, you know, for all this devastation. I see. <clears throat> Tell me, did you ever play golf? Not really my thing. You know, that makes sense. You don't really look like a lesbian. Do you know why men play golf? <clears throat> to suck up to their bosses? No, 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 no. Golf is a game of precision and control. You see this posture? Good, huh? You see, you employ a 39-inch club to hit a ball 200 yards at 160 miles an hour, all in the hopes of getting it in a little hole that's four and a quarter inches across. Well, now I know I'm in golf. Mm -hmm. It appeals to the male fascination with meaningless statistics. Details. That's why men run international corporations and women work at adorable little jobs to tie themselves over until they can pump out a few kids. Yeah, are you sure that you've accounted for all the details? You see, the important thing with golf is to really maintain a good foundation. Legs apart, spine straight. You've got to really be solid at impact. Oh, why don't you just cut the crap? for a sec. Think hard. So do you have any idea how this woman got into my office? Uh, I... Right, Cap. Got a visual on it. We're armed and heading toward it. Keep all traffic away from the Cinco compound. We're driving back home, Cap. Yeah, copy that. Engine 1747 and 23, stand by. Logan, you might want to back off too. Give us one shot. If it doesn't work, you guys shouldn't be anywhere near us. Copy that. It's all yours. Be careful, Scotty. All engines, stand down. Engine 74 is taking the lead. Scotty's back on the case, guys. Good luck, Scott. We're rooting for you. Be careful, brother. Go up his ass, Scotty. 
Gotcha back, Scott. Hey, what's your ETA at Cinco? Five minutes. Take us back to Cinco. All right, ladies, it's showtime. Let's light it up and take her home. Okay, Barbie. Let's give this bitch a warm welcome. Copy that. Ready. Really? Yeah? I filled up the water reserve with gasoline, and I'm sitting on top of 20 kilos of C4. This is a courtesy phone call. He's bluffing. Maybe. Keep going, keep going. Everything. Quickly, quickly. Everything, you understand? Great. Now they're on my doorstep. Shred every last sheet. You got it? Nothing left. Got it. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. What's the ETA on the chopper? Uh, five minutes. Outstanding. Shane? Forget you ever met me, forget everything I ever said to you and everything you ever saw here. Oh, and uh, have yourself a nice day. You're not buying this crap, are you? Don't know, don't care. Kill him! Kill him all! Get down now! One to go, ladies. Okay, we're up, girls. Let's send the sucker home. Come and get it, Bobzilla. All right, ladies, it's right where we want it. Hold your fire. Copy that. We'll come around and bait it from the front. Great job.
way, ladies. One last blast, then run like hell. Get it up, go! Copy that. Be careful, Scott. I want my hero back in one piece. Copy that, Dr. Hardy. Run! Come here, here. It's gonna be loud. You right? Yeah, we're good. Are you kidding? We're great. That was epic. <laughs> Scott, you okay? Scott, are you okay? Hey, Scott, you there? Hey, we heard quite a boom out there. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's, it's done. We owe you for an engine, though. You'll have to work it off. Hey, the mayor wants you back on the department, firefighter. I might be working for you. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. I might need a vacation first, though. Copy that. You deserve it. Where are we gonna go? Someplace cool. Maybe Iceland? <laughs> I'd like that. They don't have fire just bears. 